Yo, it's the Bushman Show, and we're live from Las Vegas. Big fight weekend. Big night Broner. on Saturday. And hey, get your crew together, Adrian, get your team the together. The problem, Broner with me right now. What's happening, guy? You already know who it is, man. It's AB always balling about beans, whatever you want to say. Just watch the fight. And don't blink. That's all I ask you to do. Just watch the fight and don't blink. I'm in rare form. I train my ass off, and um, I'm just ready to go. I'm not looking at age. I'm looking. I'm looking to go against the best Pacquiao that that ever showcased a boxing match, and um, that's who I trained for, and um, that's why I'm going out out looking to face. I'm really not worried about the people who doubt me. You know, I'm just focused on getting the win. What can I say? They hated on Jesus. I know. I know. I know they're gonna hate on me. First of all, champ, how do you feel? I feel excited and nice to be back here in Vegas to fight again. What are you most impressed with about Adrian Broner? Man? Adrian Broner is fast, he moves fast, and he's a good boxer, so um, he's kind of fighter that you cannot underestimate, and if there's an uh, opportunity that uh, I'm going to knock him out, then I will grab that opportunity. So this is not the last fight of your career. You feel like you have a lot left to give to the sport of boxing? Oh, this is not uh, my last fight. All right, thank you. Okay, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs>
Me, we, we know we're worried about uh, overtraining, but this, uh, this, it's okay. It's no problem. Will you do this again tomorrow? Hmm? Will you do this again tomorrow? No more. No more. See, this is the last one. Do you feel 40 years old? <laughs> That's a nice soft question to start, <laughs> right, Matt? <laughs> well, think about it. We got we got at 40 years of age this weekend, and I don't know if you follow professional football, but we got Drew Brees is 40, Manny Pacquiao is 40, and Tom Brady's 41. So it seems to me that you guys are dominating your fields at this point, as opposed to winding down. So um, <clears throat> what I'm trying to prove this fight that at age of 40 I can still give my best. If this were happening at 38 or 39, is it something about 40 that has made you really even more motivated or is that what the media and everyone is making out? You know, I'm so encouraged because of, you know, at the age of 40, you become slow and become, and it's, it's kind of a challenge uh, to myself that, uh, <clears throat> to, to prove something. Does it bother you that you've lifted the sport, lifted your country, you're classy and dignified? and you're fighting a guy who behaves in a fashion that's unbecoming. No, it never bothered me, but uh, even he says bad things about me or bad words about me. I don't, I don't, I don't angry with him. I, instead, I'm, I'm, I feel pity for, for him because I want to share, you know, he doesn't know the, 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 the beauty of life, being kind and, and you, know, you know, nice to other people. <laughs> don't be, <laughs> hey, G, don't do that. Yeah. 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 Everything's good, I'm fine. <laughs> Mike, sit your friendly ass down. Your career's had a lot of highs, a couple lows. Have you thought about the fact that winning Saturday undoes all the lows? It's another day in the office. Um, just on a, on a bigger platform, you know. Uh, I really want to win this fight, and, you know, uh, I know where this take me to after a win like this. So, uh, you know. I took this more serious and um, the dedication and, and, and focus that I put into this camp, you know, uh, I think you guys will see that uh, Saturday night. Do you feel, you, you say you serve the people. We've seen the shows, we've heard. Do you feel you're generous to a fault? Is there some times where you have to think, I can only do so much for people? Is it too much? My purpose here uh, on earth is uh, to be an inspiration to everybody. Which you are. Yes, inspiration. Of, of, of all things. He's a hell of a fighter. He's, very, he's a very special fighter. But you know, me at 100%, you know, I can stop him with whatever he brings to the table. Say you're victorious against Adrian Broner. Will we see Manny against the Keith Thurmans, against the Errol Spences of the world? That's possible. We'll see. After Saturday, we can talk about the next fight with my opponent. I have to prove something. 